On today's quick tip, we'll be going over how to solder XC90s and similar connections. Welcome to Mboard's Quick Tips. Occasionally over time, you might come across the need to solder XC90 connectors to your battery, BMS, ESC, or anti-spark switch. Today we'll guide you through the steps to make your life that much easier. The tools we're going to need are a soldering iron, solder, silicone wire, heat shrink, a heat gun, and a wire stripper. Starting off, we're going to use our wire stripper to expose the ends of the wire. Next, we're going to pre-tin the leads. Make sure the opening of the XT90 cups are facing away from each other. Next, we'll pre-tin the XT90 cups. Quick side note, if your wires are connected to a power source, it's good practice to tape the exposed leads to prevent any type of short. Moving on to the next step, we're gonna clamp our XT90 connector in a vice grip in our case, or something similar to act as a second pair of hands to hold the XT90 in place. Next, use the soldering iron to heat up the XT90 cups, liquefying the solder. Now we can insert our wire into the XT90 cup. Be sure to continue applying heat with the soldering iron so the pre-tinned wire and the pre-tinned cups combine to form a solid connection. Once finished and cooled, give it a quick tug to make sure it's a secure connection. Once we are sure that the solder job is secure, we'll need to add our heat shrink. If you don't have access to the end of the cables like I do here, you'll need to do this before you solder your connectors. Once you slide the heat shrink on, use the heat gun to shrink the wrap protecting the solder points. And that's it, a super quick soldering tip. If you are curious where to get some of the supplies we've used today, I've left links in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.